the characters in Broadchurch have never watched Doctor Who. Never. None of them ever watched Doctor Who. No, it's not our version of Doctor Who. They've never watched it because it's got David Tennant in it. I'm almost convinced that we, as, as human beings, continually jump from one parallel universe to another. All the time. Just all the time. Because the other day, my wife said to me, I don't like cake. But she does like cake. She likes cake. She loves cake. The, the, the only explanation is that I have jumped from a universe where my wife loves cake to a parallel universe where my wife doesn't like cake. One thing I've realised about, about TV and, and movies, in fact all media, is that I don't think any of it could be set in the real world. Our, our world. Take David Tennant for instance. Everyone, David, great actor, everyone loves David Tennant. Lovely bloke, by all accounts. He's in Broadchurch, right? He acts in Broadchurch. He's in the programme Broadchurch. That programme, the people that live in that, in that world, in Broadchurch, can never watch Doctor Who. Doctor Who cannot exist in that, in that world because David Tennant is in Doctor Who. At least not our version of Doctor Who. Maybe they've got a different version of Doctor Who, but either way, either way that Broadchurch cannot be set in our world. In our reality, because broad, because Doctor Who, as we know, it cannot be in that world. I mean, Jodie Whittaker, she's also in Doctor Who now. She's in Broadchurch. Can you, can you, can you imagine that those two characters sat down on TV one night and uh, to watch Doctor Who, and they were both in Doctor Who? That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Or the other way around, you watch Doctor Who, you, Doctor Who, Broadchurch cannot be in Doctor Who. Doctor Who cannot be set in the real world. Well, it's obviously not set in the real world, but Doctor Who, it cannot be set. It cannot, it cannot come to our, our, our world. Because Jodie Whittaker and David Tennant are both, they play Doctor Who, and they're both in Broadchurch. And Broadchurch is in this world. For ages, for ages, I was convinced that Roy Orbison was dead. Right? No, 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 I know he is dead. But I was convinced he was dead for ages. And then all of a sudden I found that he was alive. And he'd, he'd released a new album or something. I mean, what? And then, a little bit later, like now, I find out he is dead. And he has been dead all along. And it's not, it's not that he made an album and then died. He, he died ages ago, before I thought he'd made that album. So the, the only explanation is that I've jumped from a universe where he's dead to he's alive and back to the one where he's dead. Or another one where he's dead. I don't know. Or maybe maybe I've jumped into a parallel universe now where, where Roy Wilson's dead and my wife doesn't like cake. Or she does like cake. Maybe I should ask her again. If you fall off a tall building and you've got jam on your shoes, do you land on your feet? Maybe there's a reality where none of this is happening. Take Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre, right? The book, Jane Eyre, the book, the printed book, Jane Eyre, cannot exist within the world that Jane Eyre is set in. <coughs> For obvious reasons. Yet yeah, the book of Jane Eyre is in our world, so they're not, they're obviously completely different worlds. Obviously. And it cannot exist in the movie either, the movie of Jane Eyre. I mean, it was Jane Eyre written by? Anyway, it doesn't matter. <coughs> she... She cannot exist in her own book either. Hang on. Charlotte Bronte cannot exist in the book Jane... Or the film. Or the TV series if they made one. They, she cannot exist in that, in that world. Well, she could do. Maybe she wrote herself in it. But it wouldn't be the same Charlotte Bronte that lived in this world. It would be a different one. So all TV, all TV and media and films and stories and books are not set in our world. Which would explain Peppa Pig. I left my keys on the side in the kitchen. Went back to get them, what, half an hour later? Gone. 
completely nowhere to be found. Completely vanished. Searched the house everywhere. Do you know where they were? In my coat pocket. No, I didn't put them there. I mean, my wife and kids wouldn't put them there. Parallel universes. Jumping. All the time. All the time. Maybe there's a reality where none of this is happening. It's like politicians. The politicians, they lie all the time. We know politicians lie all the time. They lie. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, we think they're lying because we've come from a parallel universe where they said one thing and come into another universe where they've said another thing which we, we think is a lie. Maybe. Or, or maybe they're just lying. Yeah, actually probably, they're probably just lying. Doctor Who watching, like, come into a world and then they turn on the TV and there they are, acting in a different programme. Actually, maybe that would make a really good episode. Maybe there's a reality where none of this is happening. She's always loved cake. Doctor Who cannot come to our world simply because Broadchurch exists. Think about that. That's what happens when you do too much thinking. Everything gets weird. And you don't get anything done. This is going to work, right?